These are $625 Balenciaga Crocs. So today we're gonna to cut them in half to see what's on the inside and see why they're worth nearly $700. So now let's go over the boot information. So the brand is Balenciaga. The style is the Croc Edition Made Em Heels. The color I got is grass green. Most people in the Crocs community refer to it as Croc Green, but that's not the official name. The official name is grass green. They weigh just under one pound. They retail for $625 and they're made in China. Now let's go over the information that we can gather about this boot before we cut it in half, starting with the upper. So the upper of this boot is made out of a material called foam. This stuff is actually pretty crazy because almost all materials that shoes are made out of are, are solid all the way through, you know, like wood, leather, uh, rubber. But with this material, they literally infuse air into this synthetic compound while it's in its liquid form so that as it cures, those tiny little microscopic air bubbles get trapped inside of that material, causing two really significant things to happen with the material. First of all, it makes it significantly lighter than most materials out there. And the second thing is it makes it ridiculously soft and squishy. You know, you can't find leather or wood or any other material this soft and squishy. And it's all caused by those microscopic bubbles that are infused into this material. And you might be thinking, what happens once I put my weight onto this shoe? Won't those air bubbles just collapse? Well, the cool thing about foam is that the elasticity of this material allows those air bubbles to rebound back. So even after thousands and thousands of times compressing this material, it, it always bounces back and maintains up to 87.62% of its original form. And one really interesting thing I learned while doing the research for this video is the word foam came from this material. It stands for forced oxygenated material extrusion. Even though most people spell it the other way, F-O-A-M, it's technically spelled F-O-M-E. So I'm not really sure if Crocs or Balenciaga has some sort of patent or trademark on that spelling of the word foam. But either way, that's where the word foam came from and that's what makes these so ridiculously comfortable. Next, if we move to the lining of this boot. So the lining of this boot is also made of foam and people assume that these holes in the vamp here are for your toes to be able to stick out of, to grip the ground anytime you need a little bit of extra traction. And that's true, and that's what most people use these holes for, but the original design purpose of these holes were to allow any foot sweat, calf sweat, or like lower calf sweat that trickles down into your shoe to escape out the front, which is really useful for a higher heeled boot like this, because as that sweat trickles down, it's just gonna collect in the toe of your boot. So it's really nice to have these points to let that seep out. And speaking of the lining, there's a super common misconception in the Crocs community that the bumps on the inside of the Crocs are the return policy written in Braille. So to put that to the test, we took all these Braille letters on the inside and put it into Google Translate to see what it actually says, and the results came back as just a bunch of L's. So I don't think that that's Crocs return policy, but I'll send them an email to try to clarify and then let you guys know what I find out. And then next, if we move to the construction of this boot, so Crocs developed a new method of construction for this shoe that they call a dynamic adhesive attachment. And this is a completely different way from how most shoes are, are made and most boots are made. Most footwear is held together and constructed with either really heavy nails or really unsightly stitching. Whereas with these, Crocs and Balenciaga have developed a synthetic compound with almost the consistency of syrup, but significantly stickier. Like if you put it on your two fingers, your fingers will get stuck. And once it's dry, it's nearly impossible to remove whatever you've combined with that compound. And I think this new technology has a lot of potential, especially for the work boot world, because it'd be really cool one day to see an entire boot held together just like this Croc is, because I, I I can only imagine how much stronger it'd be than like nailing and then stitching a boot together. And then if we move to the outsole of this boot and probably the most noticeable and most important change that they've made from the original Crocs, because original Crocs just have that upper foam as the outsole, whereas this has a rubber outsole that was held together like we talked about. But more importantly, it's got this elevated heel that serves more purposes than just giving you a few extra inches of height. You can easily pop this bottom cap off and while you're mowing the lawn in these, you can also aerate your lawn. It makes it easier to put on and take off. It gives you a little extra grip in rough terrain because you can really dig it into 
into the dirt. It's really easy donut storage. It doubles as a hammer. There's just, the, the possibilities are really endless with this heel. And the thing that I end up using this the most for is just an extra handle to stabilize myself when I'm crouching down, whether I'm working on like a car or a truck, doing some mechanicking, working in the garden, smoking on the side of the road, or taking a bear shit in nature. It just helps give you a little bit of extra stability while you're crouched. So you don't fall forward, and more importantly, you don't fall backwards to whatever you're working on. And a couple other really cool features that you might not have known about this pair of Crocs. Uh, the first one is this age limit marker on the back here. So like this particular pair is not recommended for people over the age of 42. And contrary to popular belief, these were not designed after the shape of a crocodile head. They were originally designed after the shape of the more rounded alligator head and skull. It's a lot closer to this shape. And they were originally going to be called the Alleys, but due to a really long and drawn out and expensive court battle with the Muhammad Ali estate, they ended up just changing the name to Crocs. And then finally to the final feature, the sport mode strap here. And before we cut them in half, I wanted to test how sturdy the sport mode strap is on a pair. Because we get emails all the time asking, is the strap just for looks or is it actually a functional strap that I can rely on and depend on that's gonna give me the support I need, that's gonna cut my Achilles tendon and keep my feet thoroughly planted inside of the Crocs. So to put that to the test, we rigged up a test to test to see if this strap is really worth it. So let's roll the test. So it held up really well and I have no problems recommending people use this strap for heavy use. So now let's get this thing cut in half after we talk about the sponsor of this video. And this video is brought to you by Clomps and after the huge success of the original Clomps, they just released their all-terrain Clomps made from the same naturally tanned vegetable tanned leather and reclaimed full grain Douglas fir wood that made Clomps a worldwide sensation. But this time it's back with high carbon steel studs to give you grip in any terrain and any conditions. And not only does this new and improved design give you a little bit of extra height and a lot more grip. You never have to worry about when to replace your clumps. As soon as these studs wear down to that indicated wear mark, you just order another pair. And my personal favorite thing about these clumps is you can customize them to fit whatever need you have. So if you're walking up a hill a lot, you can take these studs and bend them back to give you extra grip on inclines. Or if you're climbing a lot of trees, you can bend them into hooks to really grip into the tree bark. Or you can do what we do in the shop here, as we bend these in all sorts of different directions to give you more versatility and more grip in every situation. So check out Clomps via the link in my description and don't forget to use the code ROSEANVIL for a free leather gibbets with your order. And thanks again for Clomps for sponsoring this video. Where would you wear your wood? Okay, we got them cut in half, and that was a lot harder to cut than I expected. This seems like they're gonna be a fairly durable boot, so let's see what's on the inside. So there is actually a shank in here. And that's super impressive and it was a little unexpected to see because that was the biggest complaint I had with the original Crocs is there was no shank in there. Where this one, you can see it's almost a full length composite shank that runs from that heel all the way to the ball of your foot. And now you can really see how thick that foam is and and if you look really, really closely, you can actually see some of those microscopic bubbles that make this material so impressive. And it just makes me wonder, like imagine the first guy that was like, hey, let's take that material, let's put air in it to make it softer and lighter. It's, it's a pretty crazy concept. And it's, it's not the first time this has ever been done. 
This similar, a similar thing has been done with other materials. Like there's some liquids that have air infused into it. That's what gives soda its spicy or spiky flavor. So it's really cool to see that technology put into boots and shoes. And you can also see now that steel weight that runs the full length of the heel. It helps weigh your heel down as you're working or walking or whatever you're using these for, especially when you're crouching. So overall, now that we've got it cut in half, you can really see why these cost nearly $700. The amount of technology and material science that goes into these is just crazy. It's, it's pretty astonishing to be honest. And the thing that really blows me away, there's all these synthetic materials are made from scratch in laboratories. If you take care of these the right way, these should be around for generations. And let's say you like buried these in 10,000 years from now, someone could dig these up and they'd be in the nearly exact same condition versus a leather boot. Within a hundred years, it's completely dissolved. So overall, the fact that Crocs and Balenciaga have made a shoe this impressive, that's this durable out of this many new technologies is why this shoe is nearly $700 and in my opinion worth $700. So let me know what you guys think and what your experiences are in these shoes because the comment section is a really good resource for people who are considering buying these shoes to get real world experience from real people on how they like these shoes. So let me know in the comment section and thank you guys so much for everything you do and thanks again to Clomps for sponsoring this video. See ya.